Hare Krishna. Welcome you all uh, for our very good cool sessions. And today is uh, Tuesday. We have a, there is a story session. <laughs> right. So modern day, there are so many comics, uh, so many novels, so many fiction episodes. I mean, things, they have been made it up. Huh? Many video games, cinemas, <laughs> right. Uh, so much it has been given, but without any substance. Can we learn anything from them? Any good things can we learn? <laughs> it, is, uh, it is for a short time, it is entertaining, but not uh, really giving any substance for our life. And another top of thing is that it is all artificial. It is not a real life story. Or <laughs> it is nothing to give and take with the, any life things. They will show the Spider-Man jumping or kind of things. <laughs> In reality, things doesn't exist. But whereas we see the great episodes like Mahabharata, Ramayana and all, right? And they are not fictions. They are facts. Right? And they are not just for the entertainment, but they are also for enlightenment. So that's why uh, it is very much important to be convinced for all of ourselves that how these great scriptures are and how powerful they are how much deep impact they can do in all of our lives. <laughs> so if you really, uh, and for that purpose, we should study. We should know and then discuss and learn the good lessons and increase our appreciation. Not to keep them just as for the sake of some nice entertaining stories, but for enlightening all of our lives so that we can become more better. We can do something good for our lives and good for the society at large. And most important good is, what is the... Most important good thing <laughs> that we can do for ourselves and for the society. Most important good thing uh, that is bhakti and that is Krishna consciousness. Yeah, very good. <laughs> so we learn to become Krishna conscious, then surely it can do all good. And that's why there is a nice verse. It says, uh, hmm. Bhavaya nastvam bhava vishva bhavana tvame vamata tasurutpati pita tvam uh, what is it? Tvam sad gururna paramam chadaivatam yasyan vritya krutino bhavuvima. So the all, all success is guaranteed just by following the Lord. This comes 1.11.7. Today only we are studying that verse. <laughs> So just uh, become the devotee and then follow. Accept Krishna as our father. Accept Krishna as our mother. Accept Krishna as all in all. Then every all success is guaranteed. Whereas we read worldly comics, magazines, nothing, <laughs> nothing good comes. So only little entertainment, but more entanglement. But here entertainment also and enlightenment also, both. <laughs> So let us begin our uh, today's Mahabharata discussion. Om mm Adnana -hmm. Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasma Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeyaham Shri Guru Shri Uta Parakamaram Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahavena Ravinathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakhanitamsha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shrimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pasha Tadeshatarine Namo Mahavadanya, your Krishna Prema Pradayate, Krishna, your Krishna Chaitanya, Namine Gauratrishe Namaha. He Krishna Karuna Sindhu, Dinabandhu, Jagatpate. 
गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौराधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभाणु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरिप्रिये वाछा कल्पतरूभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिवा सदगौरव हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण so what's going on in mahabharat <laughs> anyone remember yes let us see yeah correct we saw the great teacher joining and arjuna's qualities as a great student isn't it correct we were studying last week how arjuna was so amazingly eager to learn <laughs> he was submissive he was well behaved and he was very serious yeah see drona taught uh, the princess everything he knew about the weaponry um, all the students joined arjuna excelled his lessons so drona wanted to teach extra lessons to his son ashwatthama but then uh, yeah Arjun becomes the Buddha Kesh. Yeah, he he fulfills that criteria of putting the water, <laughs> and then finally Drona really appreciates Arjuna's eagerness to learn. So how brilliantly Arjuna thinks, isn't it? Without la- light, I am able to put food food in my uh, food in my mouth. So without light, even I can practice also. So let me start learning even night time. <laughs> so Drona was impressed. What a eagerness of the student is! <laughs> so that eagerness is a prize, enthusiasm. That's what we studied this uh, Sunday. Our wisdom tell sessions. How many of you remember the the Brahmana's eagerness? Uh, yeah, Avantipur Brahmana <laughs> who wanted to offer the sweet rice to the Lord, although he was not having anything. <laughs> But his enthusiasm is so high that although he did not made anything, but he went back home back to God instantly. Yeah. yeah. Anyone attended that story? Anyone heard that story? This Sunday session. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Pra- Prabhuji, his finger was burnt. Prabhuji. Ah. Although, that the sweet tr- although there was no sweet rice, but still it was God burnt. <laughs> so this is a power of that eagerness enthusiasm so let's read now further yeah. yeah no warrior shall be your equal drona made a promise i shall make you unmatched upon the earth no warrior shall be your equal yeah. ajita unconquerable drona then you all are able to see the screen is it visible the book screen is visible okay yeah so let's read now drona then taught arjun how to fight on horseback on an elephant from chariots and on the ground all angles with all the enemies all the animals using them like a learning cycle then a bike then car then aeroplane <laughs> those days those things were not there there were horses elephants and all those things were there so th- these things were been going on just so arjuna was being learning with the various vehicles <laughs> he learned about horses he learned about elephants so it's a good to learn all around skills so that we can <laughs> yesterday also we were speaking all of you know can use the time for learning very nice so he showed him all the skills of fighting with the clubs swords lances spears and darts as well as many other types of weapons so uh, can someone tell me is it a devotional learning or not 
to learn all these things is is it a devotional krishna conscious learning or not huh probably if we use in krishna conscious it is krishna conscious use probably ah very nice <laughs> you know, use them in the service of lord then yes surely it will be krishna conscious but then if you use these things for our own selfish purpose or our own enjoyment like ravana or hiranyakashipu they also learned but they use for their demoniac purpose then that is not good so we have to keep it in a very much clear so this is not krishna consciousness but when these things are used in the service of krishna later we'll see how arjuna learned uh, all these things and used in the battle of mahabharat so that is a krishna consciousness <laughs> okay so all of you also will be learning about various skills uh, uh, driving cooking singing and all these, these are not krishna consciousness but then when it is used in the service of krishna then it is krishna. so without that also we can be krishna conscious it's not that these are the skills then only i'll become krishna conscious no <laughs> but if 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 we have that ability to learn and use then surely we can do that but if it is not So like some students they don't know only at all about learning instruments even if they uh, practice but still they're not able to then fine that means that is not their cup of tea <laughs> they cannot learn that but they are better in some other fields they are better in some other areas so krishna consciousness is not about uh, these things but then yes if you are able to surely we can use and by practice will become very good so drona also taught him how to contend with any number of warriors fighting at once as drona promised his skill soon became without compare on earth nobody was able to match with arjun one day a prince of a, of the nishad tribal of forest dwellers asked drona to teach him his name was ekalavya drona replied that his school was only for the kings and princesses eklavya went away dismayed strongly desiring greatness in material sciences he practiced alone in the woods so drona rejected him because he belongs to the nishada the tribal community now why he rejected that's also important to understand is it a caste discrimination <laughs> right generally they say no you are from a lower caste so we reject you is it is that so drona had that intention or what <laughs> Uh, no prabhu ji uh, then what is the reason drona rejected him because drona promised arjuna he should be number one uh, no 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 then at least would have taught him basic na rejection is not needed yeah yes they wish <laughs> yeah prabhu he did not give that knowledge to him because uh, he see knew that because i mean sadakalavi did not know how to use that pass for dharma purpose because if you had given him that uh, education because if you had given him that uh, weapon education then he would have misused it too. that's why ah uh-huh. so the again the point comes the same the knowledge is not a problem but then if the knowledge is misused he belongs to the tribal community and they have the habit drona was knowing these people they use the skills and all and they, they don't pay the taxes to the kings <laughs> Uh, and then they are hitting the stones and then stealing the things and all then if i teach him then i again i am going against the king king's desires to set a good uh, peace and prosperity in the kingdom and then that will become a disservice so eklavya was rejected for that so this is another uh, very important to know many people worship eklavya's devotion <laughs> but that's not a point eklavya was actually a, not a fit student so if he really follows drona then he would have not practice himself okay my guru wants me not to learn okay fine that is a guru bhakti to follow what guru wants us to do but then guru rejected but still what he did you see here he built an effigy of a drona and worshiped him daily praying to him for skills at weaponry gradually became an expert archer so he started learning himself abhi bola hai nahi karna fir bhi wo karega <laughs> so what happened once he was practicing a dog began to bark loudly and disturb him immediately released seven arrows even without seeing the dog and sealed the animal's mouth means it is not dead but he just made the voice close without seeing the dog only shot the arrow my god what a weaponry <laughs> so anything wrong in this you are able to see or is it the very bravery acted it what do you say 
it is wrong because guru rejected we should listen no 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 guru's thing is done now here about the dealing with the dog this dog's incident is it right or wrong wrong yeah why wrong <laughs> because it's hurting her jiva ah, ah it's hurting see dog's nature is to bark it's not that uh, he is uh, i mean as a, if a human does then okay we have to fight against him and then teach him a lesson because human is behaving like a dog but dog's nature is to bark uh, so he would have chased him away by uh, throwing some stones or something would have done but then uh, no he caused injury to choked his voice only like uska gala pakad liya so this is another uh, misuse of the his uh, weaponary skills but then it so happened that arjun and his brothers were in the woods at that time and they saw the dog its mouth closed with arrows they marvel at this and wondered who was responsible for such a fate soon they came upon it love and seeing the dark skin nishad smeared with the filth his hair matted they asked him who he was he replied i am eklavya of the nishadas a disciple of drona i practice alone in these woods with a desire to become the best of the archers so see he is going on himself <laughs> arjun was seized with anxiety this boy posed himself as a disciple of drona even though he had been rejected by him so arjuna becoming a anxiety not out of enviousness huh? it's not that arjuna thought are come on he's becoming a more better than me or what no 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 it's not out of envy if arjuna wanted he would, he would have also got it more skills and he would have fought us <laughs> it's not out of envy but out of what disrespecting the teacher huh? so this boy posed himself as a disciple but then he's not a discipline <laughs> he is doing his independent things so although he was being rejected so sometime we have to know for what purpose it is being rejected so if the if he doesn't learn then he will not be able to cause so much harm then he will not commit sinful acts and then he will not suffer more in the future life he will elevate himself with a good consciousness but then by learning now he is going to cause a more harm and that's what it happened actually later he fought against uh, pandavas in the battlefield and krishna personally killed him eklavya got personally killed by lord krishna <laughs> right it was completely against all the religious principles no one could claim to be a disciple of a guru unless he was accepted as such by that teacher and eklavya had been flouted his so called guru's order drona had told eklavya that he could not be his student the nishada clearly had no devotion to drona see so he want to use guru he don't want to follow the guru you you understand the difference using the guru and following the guru so can someone say uh, why he wanted to put a drona statue he would have not kept drona statue also na anyway is not learning from drona in one sense he would have gone learning on his own why he kept drona statue what is the point behind that so <laughs> means um what can i tell to insert him no 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 he kept a drona statue and he used to learn by worshiping drona statue see what was the need for him to keep a drona statue anyway drona is not drona was powerful prabhu ah yes prabhu means if he will means by drona will be appreciating him by his devotion no, no, no. and he Ah, no no actually that's you are thinking little positively but eklavya's attitude is was very bad eklavya was thinking you know what ha ah, so people should know i am also the drona student not that drona is my teacher no 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 i am the student of drona <laughs> and i am the student. so that i is more prominent so drona was a top most teacher in that time like let's say sometime na no, students doesn't get admitted into iit some of is not able to crack or in the best of the college or so <laughs> but then i belong to iit i will show i also learned iit something they will use some other name and things and you know, they will match right you are understanding the, uh, the, uh, the what we say the eklavya's attitude was people should know that i am also the student of drona i am also not less 
you don't want to glorify drona keeping his statue and with the devotion you want to follow if you want to really follow out of devotion then you would have not practice only because drona told you should not practice it's not meant for you but still is going on so you you're understanding the difference is it clear all of you got the point yes so, prabhu eklavya also wanted to tell i also belong to the institute of drona drona is institute of martial arts <laughs> right so he is using drona so that's a that's not a good point the nishada clearly had no devotion to drona despite his outward show of dedication as he did not accept drona's order you see how then could he be allowed to be present himself as drona's disciple and practically his best one at that his skills were astonishing but they had been gained by disobedience see so terrorists also they are very expert in computer technology and the skills and all but because they are using in a wrong way all their skills all their learning is uh, against dharma that's why they are defamed they have been punished <laughs> so same thing we are also becoming a good students of academics but then if you don't have a good knowledge then it is like what uh, shila prabhupad used to give example huh? a jewel on a snake's hood <laughs> yeah what is meaning of a jewel having on a hood of a snake what is the meaning the snake looks so nice <laughs> because yes, the... but if you will go near it it will it will be dangerous ah it will be dangerous right so what is that snake compared what is that snake compared to and what is that jewel compared to who can tell the snake is man jewel is uh, no 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 in this example who understood the point <laughs> having a knowledge but using it wrong huh yeah yes jashit bro right to hari krishna so the snake is compared to like a uh, Like a a person with a bad cat character, Prabhuji. And jewel. And the and the knowledge, Prabhuji. Ah, very nice. <laughs> Are you all getting the points? This is very much important. No? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Perfect. So the snake may look very very attractive. Oh, so nice. He's wearing a jewel. Let us go and embrace the snake because are you what? <laughs> because you are getting attracted by seeing a diamond. You go near him. his nature is to bite and then will be dead and gone same way the worldly people the bollywood stars the hollywood stars the cricket stars the sports heroes may look very very attractive very very nice but then if they don't have devotion to krishna even in your school also you may not be the topper but you see some student who is speaking very nicely he has a lot of intelligence he is a very good at academics he is a topper always but then if he has a no devotion to krishna he is not following god then uh, better just keep a working relationship no no devotional no friendly relationship no needed because then we'll also develop their attitude of not believing god mm-hmm. outside world also we may find many many people impressing mm-hmm. having a lot of money lot of wealth lot of things but then if they don't have devotion then everything is zero or more poisonous <laughs> then we'll reject god and we'll do more sinful activities and more will degrade down is it clear all of your understanding yes prabhu ji yeah yeah so this is a very much important to know so what happened further uh, arjuna goes back to the guru and then the reports so then further dealings of ai club will study in our next meeting just before we end uh, can you all give some example of a uh, personality who also rejected his guru but then he was glorified because he rejected his guru karna no 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 <laughs> karna is by default negative example only prabhu yeah, yeah, yes. ji duryodhan no 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 who was the example yeah. Yeah. jashit prabhu has written correct yeah anyone else yeah, yes Yeah, the wish, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Bali Maharaj, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bali Maharaj. Yeah, Bali Maharaj rejected Sukracharya. Oh, yes. <laughs> Remember, but then Bali Maharaj got glorified. Bali Maharaj today is worshipped among one amongst the twelve Mahajans. 
स्वयंभू नारद शंभु कुमार कपिलो मनो प्रहलादो जनको भीष्म बलिर वैया सखीर वैया द बलि इज काउंटेड एज वन अमंग द ट्वेल्व महादेव राइट सो वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग बाय डिवोशन बिकॉज़ शुक्राचार्य वाज टेकिंग हिम अवे फ्रॉम विष्णु सो ही नीड टू बी रिजेक्टेड वेयर एज योर द्रोणा वांटेड टू टेल हिम फॉर हिज ओन गुड ओनली यू डोंट लर्न मिलिट्री आर्ट्स इट्स नॉट अ गुड फॉर यू बट देन he went on a caste issue he thought that come on how 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 are you how can you neglect me you don't want to teach i will learn now and i'll also show that i also belong to that institute <laughs> so these lessons need to and later also the next part we'll study in our next meeting you will get to know how eklavya's attitude was even more uh, conditioning later hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram ram ram, ram hare hare so the most important is what the quality of obedience today's theme is about obedience if you are not obedient then no matter how much you we do hard work end is only zero destruction but if we have a obedience then guru and krishna will shower unlimited qualities in our life unlimited knowledge will come we need not to uh, plan for okay how can i get how can i do how can i get that no we just plan for how to be become obedient student how to become a better uh, am i following what my guru what my teachers what my shri prabhupada or lord krishna wants all of us to follow regularly chanting hare krishna maha mantra hmm? every day not regularly regularly means once in a week is also regular <laughs> Uh, every day chanting minimum number of rounds at least we should pick up so that we come to the expectation of chanting 16 rounds of hare krishna maha mantra then following four regulative principles huh? being honest humble truthful huh? following proper cleanliness doing our best with studies huh? uh, being polite so all these wonderful qualities we develop naturally all the knowledge everything uh, guru parampara they will shower upon us but if you are not obedient then no matter how much ever best institutes we try like here a club is trying <laughs> but then end is everything is zero so all glories to shila prabhupad for giving us this amazing insights and then presenting us this important uh, lessons about obedience thank you all very much for joining uh, let us end with uh, Bobby, uh, points. yeah yeah points will take uh, with the vishnu pranam will end and we'll take वाचाकूभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम अनकोटिवैष्णव बृंदकी जय शील प्रभु जय थैंक यू ऑल वेरी मच हरे कृष्ण